Uh, I'll begin with a bit of uh, just grounding uh, our uh, what we see as, as a possible contribution of this project with uh, a bit of a uh, background on what po what position how, what are we positioning ourselves not against but what are we comparing ourselves with so uh, current research current the little current empirical research there is on wisdom okay. Okay. suggests that uh, uh, wisdom is heavily leans on deliberation I mean conscious deliberation and uh, no, that it is domain specific meaning it's concerned with specific times, uh, types of problems, basically meaning, problems of meaning, problems of conduct of life, and third, uh, that it should or can be evaluated uh, according to a uh, culturally specific norm. And I think this is maybe the crucial point, and this is a point we emphasize, is that um, debates or, or, or work on the content of of wisdom, what content or um, um, what models are wise, um, deal less with the process. When I, I say processes, I mean mental processes that support um, uh, such wise behavior slash decision making. Okay, so uh, we tentatively we tentatively uh, 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 define. Uh, wisdom. Uh, we don't think this is wisdom, but uh, in working, uh, we define, we choose to define wisdom as a uh, solution to complex problems, uh, rather encompassing uh, um, uh, definition. And uh, specifically, we model it. Our um, our own model is because of the stress of we want to stress the role of implicit or non-conscious processes as a specific time, of, a type of problem solving, intuitive problem solving, and I'll give an example later. So the paradigm we are using to address this intuitive kind of problem solving is a, a well-used paradigm. It's called the verbal. Uh, it's it's a, it's a paradigm of the type of verbal intuitive problem solving. There are other types of problems, and it's uh, named a compound, a remote associative task, and um, and it goes this way. So you have triads of words, and the, your task is to create a word that is able to create a compound with, with either of three, all of the three, not either, all of the three. And, and the important thing is that it's not close association, so it doesn't, it's not things that come immediately into mind. This has been used as a paradigm for testing creativity, for example. We don't use it, we don't call it creativity, but it, it, it's it, 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 uh, relatively, it's not relatively, some items are very difficult. Uh, so what processes are we suggesting? So we, pro we, we uh, posit, or we, we explore the role of two mechanisms. Uh, uh, the two success uh, these two processes or mechanisms were successful in other realms of cognitive and social cognitive psychology in explaining phenomena. And the, the two mechanisms we, su we suggest is, are accessibility and implicit positivity, or uh, uh, named differently implicit attitudes. But basically the principle, the simple principle is, the more accessible a concept is, whether a person is conscious of this accessibility or not, the more likely that concept of the different type it can be, an action, a stereotype, whatever, will be used when the person behaves. Okay, and thus can be measured. And the last point, which is important, is sources of accessibility may be external, which you heard of priming, and when the non-conscious conscious or uh, intention or non-intentional debate, usually speak of priming, so a, an external thing, like the pie I showed you, activates the concept in your mind, and you, your behavior is affected by it, even if you don't know that what activated it, okay? And, and our hypothesis was that uh, following the, the, the literature, the review literature, but the, what the findings in psychology, many of the findings, is that um, accessibility, as accessibility increases, if we can capture the accessibility before getting, before people are conscious of the solution, we can predict the, uh, the, the, their ability to solve the problem on the basis of their accessibility. We can predict their insight, okay? We are measuring the accessibility of the solutions. And we posited this, uh, this relationship. 